Divas, what's up? Um, I wanted to come to you guys today, and I know this video is a little late, like a couple days late. So I wanted to come to you guys and talk about what's going to be in my weekly makeup basket for the next two weeks. Um, I'm a few days late putting this up, but I really was enjoying the products that I used, you know, last week and the week before. Um, please excuse me, I'm not wearing makeup today, because you guys know that I work at midnight, um, that's when I start and it is like 2 o'clock in the afternoon so if I put my makeup on now I'm just gonna fall asleep and I'll be all over and ugh, that's nasty so <laughs> um, let's just get into the video um, I have a surprise for you guys I cannot wait I cannot so I'm just gonna show you so the first thing that I use is this Estee Lauder Idealist even skin tone illuminator this is in my project pan and I'm trying to get rid of it so I just put this on. This is a moisturizer. What well, kind of like a moisturizer? You apply it before you um, apply your moisturizer to your face. Actually, I use this after, um, but it's for all skin types, and it's supposed to like, if I'm cor correct, it's supposed to like even your skin tone, fight free radicals, and give you a glow. Um, and this just comes off like this goldish type of color and you rub it in and that's pretty much it so um trying to get through that the next thing that I normally will use is my fresh sugar lip polish which I have not been using a lip scrub every day um I just you know when I needed it but when I'm applying these lipsticks my lips didn't appeal quite often so I've decided to start using like a lip scrub on a daily basis and when this runs out I'll probably just make my own because I paid a, quite a good amount of money for this and although it does last me a long time because I'm not using it every day I just don't see the point in spending 20-30 bucks on a lip scrub so this is what it looks like the fresh sugar lip pro polish and um, it just is basically brown sugar that's what it smells like and looks like and I'm pretty far through this so I put this all over my lips I scrub it around and then I take a baby wipe and I just wipe off the excess and that helps to exfoliate a little bit more and then I'm set to go I put a little bit of like a lip conditioner on which I really need to get another one um, I think I have one in my purse that I can bring up here but I need to get another lip conditioner to use after that then I will go in with my Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth. And this stuff is okay. I really wish that I had something that I liked a little bit better than this. As a face primer, um, it's, it does the job, but it could be a lot better. So yeah, um, I put this on after and it works pretty good for what I needed to do. This is, it comes off as like a clear, not a clear, but a white color. Um, but when you rub it in, it evaporates into something that's clear. It doesn't evaporate. <laughs> it just kind of rubs into something that is completely clear and that you can't see. So that is that. Then I will prime my eyes and I learned this trick you guys um, from Makeup Game On Point. I'm sorry, her name is Makeup Game On Point. And um, I saw this tip from her that talks about um, smile lines. I have smile lines when I have my makeup on because um, it like settles right here and then it looks like it's creased. And I look a lot older well, I feel like I look a lot older than I probably, than I am. So I end up using this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I prime my eyes with. But I put this on my smile lines and my eyes, and it stops it from creasing. If it will stop your eyeshadow from creasing, it will stop your makeup from settling into your smile lines. So I have been giving this a shot, and so far, so good. So if you have that problem, um, it doesn't have to be Urban Decay, it could be any eyeshadow primer. Just give that a try, just apply a little bit like you normally would and then just go over the rest of your makeup, you know, with your normal routine. And let me know in the comments below once you have tried it or if you are trying it now, um, how does that work out for you? Do you like it? So once I have primed my eyes and 
my fangs, I will usually go in with my eyeshadow base, which this week I'm going to be using this CoverGirl um, Smoky Shadow Blast Stick, and it has two different colors. This one is like a charcoal gray, and this one is like a um, pewter or taupe color. So here is the gray. It's very, very shimmery. So here's the gray, and here is the pewter. And I'm picking this this week because um, I am going to be using certain colors from Other Rock Pro, and I think that this will go really well with it. I'm going to use the, let me show you. I'm going to use Pewter and I'm going to use Slate from Mother Rock Pro. So once I have applied my um, base, I usually will lightly go over it with like a matte color just to kind of set everything so nothing kind of smudges or creases or whatever. And just really lightly from like the lid to the brow. And I'm going to start using my Bamboo Shadow again because I really want to see if I can pan this completely by the end of the year. So I'm going to... Um, start to use this again. I've got a nice dip in there all around the edges. If you guys can see I've got major major progress from the last time I showed you. So that will be what I use next and then dun, 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 dun. okay so here is my palette and I am doing a project pan if you are not if you have not seen that video I will link it below but in my project pan, I wanted to hit pan on two of the shadows of my Lorac Pro because I am like a late bloomer with this thing, you guys. I'm not anywhere as far as a lot of other people are, and I would like to be. So um, the two colors I chose to focus on were gold and light bronze, and I have hit pan. So... Um, I just want to show you guys like what my progress looks like. So, um, I have not been working on these. Once I hit pan, I kind of just took a break from them and I moved on to pewter. And like I said, I want to work on slate. So that are those two shadows. I am now using black um, to smoke out my lower lash line. And I've also been mixing in, this is Max, um, I cannot think of the name of the shadow right now, Brown Script. This is Max Brown Script eyeshadow. That's just what it looks like. And I have been using this with Garnet. They go very well together. It's like the same color, but one has shimmer and one is matte. So this is Brown Script, this is Garnet. I've just been using those in conjunction with each other. And once I take black and um, smudge on my lower lash line, I will go over it with this Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in Chaos. And oh my gosh, it looks amazing. So here is Chaos from Urban Decay. And over top of a black shadow, it looks so beautiful it kind of makes it pop even more. So I kind of will put the black shadow on my lash line and I will put this in my waterline. Once that's done, I will apply my eyeliner, which I am using the Physicians Formula um, Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eye Serum. And this is just a pen liner, very, very thin. Um, it's really black and you can kind of, you know, darken it up, lighten it up, however you want. So, um, this is not my favorite liner, but it works. And this one is just in, just in the black. So that's what I do next. And for my mascara, I have been using my Maybelline Lash Sensational. Um, I kind of had another mascara going, but when I used this one, I just fell in love and I have forgotten about the other one pretty much. Um, once I've done all of that, then I apply my concealer. My concealer that I'm using is still the Maybelline Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. And I am almost done, you guys. 
I am down to where it says dark circle. See that? I'm down there. So, whew, I'm trying because I really hate this stuff. I don't know. It's just too light. I don't like the consistency. I feel like it fades. There's a number of reasons. I would not buy that again. And for my foundation, um, this L'Oreal True Match is still going. Like, I'm so shocked. This is just in the travel container that I put it in. It has a little pump. Um, so yeah, I got these on Amazon for pretty cheap. But yeah, I'm still using that. And then I set my under eye with my MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. So that's, oops, sorry, that's what that looks like. And it is just a clear white powder. Looks like that. And I take a sponge and I apply it. So one side I apply my um, MAC powder. And then the other side I've used this Clinique Stay Stay Matte Sheer Press Powder. And this one is in number 10 Stay Amber. And so this is a translucent powder. And so I would take the puff on the other side and apply this to the rest of my face. Why I'm using a puff and not a brush is because I get very, very oily in the summertime. And this really, when I apply it with a puff or a sponge, it, it takes a lot longer for my oils to break through. So that's been helping me. Then I go in and I do my brows. My brows, I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz and this is in Ebony. And it's just a really thin, thin tipped um, pencil and it gives me a lot of control so that's the only thing that, about this and they do have a NYX one that just came out and I'm gonna try that when this is gone um, and then I set them or fill them in with her brow powder and this one is in dark brown so I do like this but I probably would try the pomade once this is done it's gonna take me to the end of the year, maybe even longer, to finish up this shadow. There's so much in there. And I set those with the NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And I just got this and I love it. It doesn't make them crunchy. You can feel that they are set, but you don't get too much product on your brush. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just clear. You can hardly, it's like a nice size wand. This stuff is gonna last me a long time. Then I will go ahead and I will apply my bronzer, which is the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Goddess. And that's where I'm at with that. So I've got some pretty good progress going. And then I use my blush, which this week is going to be the MAC Super Duper Natural Mineralized Blush. This is my favorite blush of life. <coughs> it is, um, I believe, limited edition because I don't see it at MAC and I got this years ago. Like, this stuff is so old, you guys, and I just need to use it up because I've had it for too long. <laughs> like seriously, for too long. This was almost one of the first blushes I bought, so yeah. I think that I'm going to try to pan this um, this year and I don't think I'm going to switch out my blush. So this will be the one that you will see. It is, like I said, a mineralized blush. It is pink. It is called Super Duper Natural because that is what it is. Very natural. This is what it looks like on my finger. And oh, I love this blush. That is a heavy, heavy swatch of it. But I just really wanted you guys to be able to see what it looks like. So, um, it's like a peachy pink. Oh my gosh. I cannot, I can't. It's just, it's life. It's life. And then for my highlighter, because it goes so well with it, I'm using my Rio Mineralized Skin Finish. So... I kind of focus on the center, but this is real. 
because I could pick up more of the bronze color, but I like to focus on like the pink. And so that's real. And I just apply it right above where I put the blush and then blend it down into it. And oh, honey, you talking about pretty. So yes, um, really, really love this because you could use the bronze color. You could pick out the pink, but I just kind of swirl my brush in there in the center. And once all of that is done, I um, am this week of going to use my the Rock Luster Drops once again, and this is the Diamond Luster Drops. And I'm just gonna just do it just a touch over my eyeshadow, not too much because some of the shadows I'm using have like a lot of glitter. Um, champagne from the Lorac Pro is like a glitter bomb. So I have to be careful. And then I will set my face with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set, which I am almost done with. Yeah, I have like a fourth of a container in here. So, but I do have a backup of this. I have so many like setting sprays now. So I really need to try to use this up. Um, I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be using on my lips because I haven't talked about my lip products, even though I still have been going strong with them. And this is the... Revlon Color Burst um, Kissable Balm Stain and Honey. And there is not very much left. I have been using this off and on, but I'm going to try to finish this up in the next two weeks. I don't know if I can do that much in two weeks, but hopefully. Um, what makes this so hard to use is that once I put it on, it kind of, um, it's a stain. It's, it's a lip stain, so I put it on, my lips get dry, I look in the mirror, and I still have full color, like 100% full color. So what I have been using on top of this is just a NYX Butter Gloss, and it's an Angel Food. I don't have it up here right now, it's in my work bag, but that's what I apply right over the top, and they are essentially the same color. Um, something fun to show you guys is that I'm going to actually take off my nail polish right after I get done recording. And I'm going to put this color on. I picked this up not that long ago. It's from Essie. I don't have many Essie nail polishes. And this color is so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, I hope my camera is doing it justice. Oh my gosh. It's like a purple, iridescent, sparkly color. And it's called Jamaican Me Crazy. And I really, really... Um, want to give this a shot, see what it's going to look like. I couldn't help myself when I saw it, so. And the last thing in my makeup bag for this week, I'm going to really, really focus on my perfumes. Not my sample sizes, but my full sizes. And so for the first week, I'm going to be using this Perry Ellis 360, which is more of a citrus um, fragrance perfume. And it last a long time um i can use a couple of different sprays um like maybe four sprays it's not too much but yeah gonna focus on this for the first week and then for the next week i'm going to work on this holly berry reveal which is a much softer florally um sweet musky scent yeah so that will be for week number two so that is what is everything in my makeup bag um it's kind of a lot of products this week but this is everything that i use and how i put it on my face so i hope you guys have enjoyed this and i will see you very soon in my next video which um I have another surprise for you guys coming. So stay tuned for that. Deuces.